listeners and welcome to episode two of Snippet Sunday. I'm here with my brother Sam holding the camera for me. Thank you Sam, much appreciated. We are going to go with another kit hack this week and we are going with the Builder's Chalk Line. Now this is a basically a massive piece of string that's strapped around and will unwind out here. I use for many reasons. We're going to walk and talk as we go down here. So the two main reasons for using this bit of string are one for batting and one for bowling. And it's all about understanding alignment and directions of running. For bowlers, if you don't run up in a straight line or run up towards where you want to put the ball, then you're not giving yourself a huge amount of chance to be accurate and being able to hold your line. So these are fantastic for being able to understand where you need to run and follow that to be able to get the ball to where you want to go. So we'll set it up as an example for one here. So come on down. So what I want you to imagine is that we are a right-handed bowler. So we're going to go right arm over the wicket and we naturally swing the ball away from the right-handed batter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the little loop on the end over the top of the stump and then I'm going to unwind it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwind this in a straight line through mid crease at this end and then as far back as the bowler's run up goes. So let's just go to here for example. So let's imagine that bowler's running up to here. So that line is through mid crease and it's going to go to off stump. Now if I'm a right arm seamer, if I follow this in a straight line and everything technically works up and down and goes towards my target, the ball's going to go somewhere around the top of off stump. But what it also allows me to do is understand if I swing the ball either way, where I need to be bowling this. So if I'm an away swing bowler, I know if I bowl that line and it doesn't swing, I'm attacking the stumps. But if it does swing away, then that brings the outside edge into play because it moves in and then moves out away from the right-handed batter. So depending upon what you do, whether you swing it in, swing it away, whatever angles you bowl from, you can then set up this piece of string to allow you to have a real good understanding of your alignment and where you want to be standing. The great thing about it being a chalk line as well is because it's so thin, it doesn't really impact a batter. So a batter can go down there and stand and bat with this whilst the bowler has this in play as well. What we'll do now is we'll bring it on to the batter. So if we go back down here, we're going to leave this end down. I'm going to grab my bat, you just stay there one second. So let's go down here. We can also use this as batters to understand about whether we're able to access the ball in the way that we're standing in our stance. So as a left-handed batter, if I assume that ball is coming from that line, so from whereabouts it is on the crease up there, and they're looking to hit off stump. Now, if I set up here, Come and stand directly in front, please, Sammy. What you can see here is my shoulder, hip, knee, and everything is going down a nice straight line following this white line. So we're following it down the strip there, which technically means that I'm not aligned to the delivery that's coming into me. So either I'm going to play early and I can take the inside edge, I can play across it and get the outside edge. Or I've got a very small margin for error in whether I make contact clearly with the ball. So for me to be aligned, I need to understand that the way I stand needs to allow the bat to access the ball whether I move or not. So if I stand like this, you can see that bat isn't going to be accessing a large part of that ball's journey from the bowler's hand through to where my bat is. But if I stand here, then you can see there, I can now start to get that back to go down the line of the ball for as long as possible. And with this, you can then start to develop an understanding of what a batter's setup and alignment needs to be to different angles. So imagine that you've got a bowler that comes wide of the crease. So for example, you think of someone like a Makaya Rintini who came really wide on the crease. All of a sudden, 
started, I know that I've got to make an adjustment from where I would usually be, just slightly open, I've got to be even more open to be able to get that back to access the ball. In the same way as I had a right arm round, the ball's going to come in more on this angle, so my stance may need to alter this way as well. So just this nice simple little bit of chalk line can give us some really simple understandings about as a batter whether we can access the ball, but also as bowlers about where the ball's going to go if we keep everything going in a straight line. The beauty of it is it's really cheap. So I bought this in a local hardware shop for £1.50. The use of it is really good. I'm sure there are many other uses. So if you do find any, please do let us know. Comment on the YouTube channel. Let us know what you use them for because they're brilliant pieces of kit that I use for both batters and bowlers. And I'm sure there are many more uses. Thanks ever so much, guys. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dan Hellisway Cricket, and then sign up and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.